velocity is king, right? And, and, and that's kind of um, everybody's big concern nowadays is how do I gain velocity? Because it's, it's kind of an arms race for um, who, can, who can put up the, the big velocity numbers. We also are big on checking off the other boxes. One of those big things is the timing. Guys have trouble getting in the ground before they throw. A lot of that just comes from having the core strength, the, the hip strength, the hip mobility, core strength, abdominal strength, oblique strength, all of that. To be able to hold the, the, those strong positions of torque in the lower half, down the mound. When guys are not strong enough and they don't really have the confidence in their their lower half strength, they leak out energy from their lower half early because they're not able to hold the torque in the back leg. It's It just comes down to a lot of um, foundational strength and, and really um, ton of hip mobility work, hip stability work, core strengthening, and I always say that the hips are the core. Mobility is not, is not the issue, it's normally stability. Guys just need more stability and then have good timing with the lower half to where it's the drive is going right into the front foot landing and we're able to stick that strongly with the front leg. That's a big piece where it's just like getting a little more physically mature, getting that confidence to where you know that you're able to stay in your hips, drive out of your hips. And with that, we're able to keep a whippy arm. We're able to keep the whip. Mass is a big thing too. Mass is a big predictor for, lo for, for velocity. The guys who ha are making gains in velocity, they are um, gaining mass. And then it's, you know, it's just making sure the timing is good. Land, then throw. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys again next time.